Salutations, my name is Summer, and this is Cozy Reading with Quaker Cats, and I want to talk about my 2021 reading plans. I have a special guest today. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he hates being picked up, so. Yeah, this is Huckleberry. He is 12 weeks old. He's a little boy. He's a stray. I took him to the vet. He's been all checked out, perfect health, <laughs> and all my cats are really mad at me. You know how you bring a new, uh, a new one in, and it's it's uh, madness. So Randall's doing okay. He's he's doing all right. But if Sylvie, who is up there, and Mayfair is actually up top too. If they come down, uh, there will be lots of hissing. Finchurch is laying over here. If he comes around, you're going to hear hissing, and Finchurch is going to take off running. This is the first time that Huckleberry has been down here. He's only He's been too afraid to come down the stairs until just a second ago when he followed me down, and I had to coax him with pets. <laughs> so, okay, 2021 reading plans. So as you know, I have failed in read-alongs. Um, uh, there's so many things that I wanted to do. And, it, you know, I'm still reading War and Peace. And I felt like I need to hurry up and read this. And I told myself, no, read it at a pleasurable pace for you. That's what I have to keep telling myself. Um, I'm, in, I'm reading it to enjoy it, not reading it to rush into something else. And some books I go through fast, some books it takes me forever. So, War and Peace, I'm really enjoying it. It's just taking me forever. And I actually wanted to call him Tolstoy, but it didn't suit him. He's too goofy. So, I want to talk about read-alongs. And it's going to get a little crazy in here, because Ben Church is already standing up like, you're making me move, you're in my space. Um, okay, read-alongs. So uh, with Noah, uh, everyone who reads it must converse. In January, we are reading 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Uh, I will link his channel down below. I'm excited about this. With Rick McDonnell, we are reading, he's reading the whole thing. I have all the books. Uh, he's reading the whole series, four books, um, starting in January. And I'm going to link his um, video that he talks about how he has a setup. He's not doing Voxer. He's just doing it through YouTube, which I like because everyone gets to experience it in that sense. So drag The Dragon Bone Chair by Tad Williams. Um, let's see. I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but hopefully Deanna at Pato the Reader, Angie at Literary Labors, and Amy at Zoe Beck, if they all still want to when March comes along, I'm hoping to read The Count of Monte Cristo. Mayfair is going to cause problems because <laughs> she does not like him. She wants to push him around. And now you can see Sylvie's like, come here. You can see Sylvie's getting a... Uh, whatever territorial too okay anyway i'm hoping to read this with all of them uh maybe do a read along on my channel may anyway hoping it that works out another one um sometime in 2021 of uh, this coming year i'm going to be reading disillusion uh by cj sansom doing a buddy read with peg at the history shelf so I'm happy about that, too. Okay. I am also very happy about all the books that you guys have recommended. I've been dipping in and out, finding um, which ones are suiting my mood at the moment, and I have been very happy with all of them that I've read so far. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I plan to continue with that. And... Um, Let's see. 
My most anticipated reads, I wanted to share those with you. Um, Leviathan Wakes, I just got this James S.A. Corey. Very excited about that. 1491 by Charles C. Mann. Uh, I saw this at, on uh, Lukash's channel, A Cool Reader's Thesis, and I will link him down below. Two more is uh, Free Food for Millionaires by Min Jin Lee. She is the one who wrote Pachinko, and I love Pachinko. And the last anticipated is Chimes of a Lost Cathedral by Janet Fitch. This is the second book um, in the series, which I didn't know it was a series when I read it, uh, The Revolution of Marina M. So uh, I'm excited about this. Okay, there's two books. Uh, I'll talk about those later at another time. So last year, I was supposed to read um, I have planned to read all of and reread all of Anne Rice's books, and that didn't happen. I think I read only three of them. <laughs> so I hope to continue on with reading my Anne Rice, uh, all of her books. Another thing I hope to um, continue on with, uh, or really pretty much start, my mom read this series, and I want you to be able to see him. Sorry. <laughs> He's precious. Okay. My mom read this series when I was, when she was pregnant with me. The Bastard by John Jakes. I have all of them. Um, and I started it and I never completed it. It's very good. I don't know why I set it aside. I just got distracted by something else. But, um, yeah, I want to get back into that. And I'm going to raise you back up so you can see how upset Sylvie is. <laughs> she is my queen bee and I have allowed somebody else in here. So those are two things that I was, I wanted to do in 2020 and I didn't. So I'm going to carry those on. Another thing that's going to carry on into January, War and Peace, The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann. Um, uh, the Magic Mountain was a read along over at uh, Matthew's channel, a Mayberry book club. I was, May, I was uh, really enjoying it, but I ended up, everyone completed it but me, and so I ended up setting it aside, getting distracted with something else, but I want to get back into it because I was really enjoying it, plus I have Matthew's videos still to watch, so I, that's nice when you know that you have videos waiting for you. Another thing that Matthew uh, he was doing a read-along uh, this month that I was not able to do because I'm reading so many other things and I read so slowly, and that is um, The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky. So I hope to get this to this in 2021. I believe that Una and Crypto and maybe Christy are doing a read-along in February. I'll link all their channels down below. So um, I might get to it in February. I might not. But if I don't, I know that I have Matthew's videos because he's making videos right now about um, reading this. And I think this is one of his favorite books. Uh, so I know I have those videos waiting for me for whenever I do get to them, which is really nice. Two more things I want to get to. I, Jack at Rambling Raconteur, he did a read-along for Herodotus. The histories. Uh, I probably mispronounced it. Anyway, um, I'm wanting to to uh, read this in 2021 and then go watch his videos because I didn't. I only watched one of his videos and I didn't want spoilers. I like going into everything blind, pretty much. And something else. Um, there was another read along with Kate Howe, and I'll link her channel too. I'll link all these people. Um, but yeah, Romantic Outlaws. This is uh, Jennifer Brooks. I heard, heard about this from her channel too. She loved this book also. But it's nice to know that I can go back and watch those videos whenever I do get to this. And I hope I get to it in 2021. Uh, something else uh, 
I'm really been enjoying and I, I don't have the book for, I, I ordered it from the library, but I don't have it wrote down. Um, the book that bitter single ladies, uh, read romance, their book of the month for, uh, January. I forgot to, to write it down, but anyway, I love, I'll link them down below and he's, it's nice that he's feeling comfortable, but if I was a pick him up, he would freak out. <laughs> none of my cats like being picked up. They, none of them. Sylvie's the only one who really lets me pick her up for a second because she likes to rub her face against mine. And then she's like, okay, let me down. Um, but anyway, yeah. Bitter Single Ladies Read Romance. It is hosted by Angie at Literary Labors and Rainy at Rainy Day Reads. I am in I can't wait to see what next year brings for their uh, book club. It's so much fun. And I'm not a big romance fan, but uh, I love, even if I've read the book, even if I didn't like the book, I, I love that book club. So I will link it down below. And one more thing, he's in a bag and Mayfair decides that she wants to um, attack the bag. May, Mayfair, hey. Mayfair, poor little boy. He has to be harassed by his big sister. Anyway, Great American Reads, I will do a video. That bag sounds loud, doesn't it? May, uh, I'll do a video about where I'm at on the Great American Reads. <laughs> so let me go uh, take care of this. I hope, uh, Everybody's having a great day. Um, I think I mentioned everything about the next coming year. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the read-alongs. I'm looking forward to the buddy read. I just hope people are patient with me because I'm a slow reader and I get distracted by other things easily. I get distracted. So um, anyway, let me know about your plans for 2021. And um I'm excited to hear, oh, he's out, so it'll be quiet again. Um, I'm excited to hear what everybody else's plans are. I've been loving the videos um, about, you know, what you guys plan to read. And 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 plus, you guys did so well with um, May, with your plans last year, or this, I guess it's still this year, but I did not do well. So, and I would love to be able to blame uh, COVID and Trump and all that, but really it's just how I am. I'm very scattered. And, and that's one thing I'd like to change for 2021. I would like to be more settled. I would like to be more organized. I would like to, um, Oh, I would love to be able to do reviews like you guys do where you, um, <laughs> you know, you guys, uh, it all comes together where mine, I, I just feel like it's all scattered. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, I hope next time it'll be more calm with uh, my new little huckleberry. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have uh, a great week and that you're able to talk to loved ones even if you're not able to see them. So bye.